plaintiff, John Burlingham, says when he met the defendant, she offered to buy his motorcycle. John claims the defendant couldn't afford the payment, so she gave him her credit card as collateral. But she has yet to give him the cash for the bike and his helmet, so he's suing. Defendant Danielle Holling says the night she met John, he was asking her where he could buy marijuana, and that's when she agreed to buy his bike. Danielle claims the police took the bike before she could pay John, and that's when John started stalking her, so she's countersuing start with you. All right. So I'm a college student at UNO. And uh, what school is that? Oh, University of Nebraska at Omaha. Okay. And uh, I also smoke cigarettes. Now these two things do go hand in hand because on August 31st, 2014, I went in search of a cigarette because being a college student, I'm usually broke. Uh, I found a cigarette at the Megabus bench from a man named Bobo, who happens to be her uh, next door neighbor. He needed a ride back to Lincoln, and I was willing to give it to him if he filled up my gas tank. And so that's how I met the defendant. And, and you didn't know him? I didn't, no. I was just searching for a cigarette, and I found one, and... And you put him in your car? Yeah. He seemed like a nice enough fellow. <laughs> I mean, that's a good heart, but, you know. I mean, it led to this situation, so... Didn't work out, then. Not really. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you, but I'm just a little surprised at this day and age. I found a cigarette at the Megabus bench from a man named Bobo, who happens to be her uh, next door neighbor. You put him in your car? Yeah, he seemed like a nice enough fellow. <laughs> I mean, that's a good heart, but you know. I mean, it led to this situation, so. Didn't work out, then. Not really. <laughs> Plaintiff John Burlingham sold a motorcycle to the defendant, and she claims after the bike was taken by the police, John started stalking her. So you're nice enough to give Bobo a ride. And what happened? And I met Danielle, mm -hmm. and I noticed that she had two motorcycles out front of, of her house, and they were in disrepair or stripped down. And uh, I have a motorcycle, the tax and bill of sale I have for you right here, and that I needed to sell for rent money. And I struck up a conversation with her about selling it. We agreed upon $225 for the bike as well as $40 for the helmet. And I took it down to her. Two days later on September 2nd, she spun me the story that she sent the money for the bike to her baby mama in Detroit. Now... Um, I didn't say baby mama. Yes, you did. I said my mother. Either way, she did not have the money for me. She did give me her credit card as collateral of which I still have a copy. But she accepted the bike? Mm-hmm. All right. And obviously you're suing because you didn't get your money. Correct. All right, let me hear from you. The kid from home alone is crazy, for real. <laughs> let me tell you. One particular day I was outside smoking a cigarette. We can't smoke in the house and whatever. So he was like, you got another cigarette? I'm like, no. He was like, you know where to get some drugs from? I said, boy, I don't know you. So we talking, I mean, he was like, nice bites, I say. What type of drugs? He, he was asking for marijuana. Okay. So he was like, nice bites. I say, yeah, I'm trying, I'm about to get rid of them. I'm about to get another one. And whatever, he was like, I got a bike. I say, bring it down. The day he was supposed to come and bring the bike, mm -hmm. it was like, uh, it was, he was supposed to bring it on a Friday. September 1st. But he brought it. September 2nd. Like, on, on a Tuesday. What was so, the agreement? I give him two fifty for the bike, mm -hmm. but two hundred and fifty dollars. Yes, we agreed upon two hundred twenty-five. We I ain't had a, I love it, Tom. I ain't had the money right now because I had to go pick up my daughter from Detroit. She was with my mom. Mm -hmm. I leave and go. He's texting me crazy. He's popping up at my house four or five times and everything. The boy is crazy, <laughs> for real. Nobody don't believe me. He pops up. Who talks to a one-year-old? Child, judge, for real, who talked to a child? Trying to find you. Talk about, can I come in? Can I? No. Boy, I'm from Detroit. He don't know how I get down. If I was there, I would have got them together, for real, though. Okay, can we, <laughs> can we get back to the motorcycle? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can deal with those issues. Because he crazy. With a, with a professional. <laughs> Go ahead. All I have to say Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, don't look at me like that. I'm from Detroit, too.
Ooh. What size? What? Ask? What? I said, what size, may I ask? What what? What side of town? The Herman Gardens, the worst projects in the history of Detroit, where there were nothing but gangbangers. Now, where are you from? I'm from Seven Mile. Right, we should steal your mini bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No. Nope. What happened to the bike, ma'am, the motorcycle? The police took it from me. It wasn't no paperwork. I called oh. him. <laughs> I called him, was like, can you bring the paperwork? He said, yeah, I can bring it to you. He ain't never came for the I paperwork. How did get it? I was riding it up a, the street up my block. I was riding mm -hmm. it, and the police ended up pulling me over and taking it. For what? Me. Why did they pull you over? Because I was riding it in the street, and I have no it is paperwork. Hold on, because you know what? I was riding it in the uh -huh. street. Isn't that where you're supposed to ride a motorcycle? <laughs> yeah. So you weren't doing anything illegal? I ain't have on a helmet. Oh, like so you were doing something illegal. Right. That's why you were stopped. Right. All right, and so what else? That was it, and they they took it. Like, I don't got no proof of saying it's mine. It wasn't no tax on the bike or nothing. Why'd you ride it then? Because mm -hmm. I just... I just bought it. But you knew it was illegal. Like, you knew just you was all... riding it. Yeah, but you knew it was illegal to ride it. That's why they took it, because of what you did. He met his burden, and it was <laughs> under your control. His responsibility under the transaction was give you a motorcycle. He met his responsibility. After that, it's yours. Now, when the registration papers, if all that takes a minute to come, like it does typically, Secretary of State or DMV, got to apply for it. It might take a couple of weeks or whatever. In the meantime, if you have it, you don't drive it unless it's legal. He's popping up at my house four or five times. Who talks to a one-year-old child, Judge? For real, who talks to a child? Trying to find you. Talk about, can I come in? Can I? No. Boy, I'm from Detroit. He don't know how I get down. If I was there, I would have got them together for real, though. Okay, can we, <laughs> can we get back to the motorcycle? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Plaintiff John Burlingham sold a motorcycle to the defendant, and she claims after the bike was taken by the police, John started stalking her. Your counterclaim for 1000 How does he owe you? He... He was just... My twin don't even come to the house mm -hmm. because he was popping up at the time, I was in Detroit going oh. to get my baby. He would just pop up. And he would bring multiple guys to my house. All right, she what did he do there. to you? That's what we talking about. What did he do to you? He ain't do nothing to me. All right, then. Well, Your claim you. is dismissed. How did he harass you? That's oh, what I'm I asking. Got, what did he I, do to you, Detroit? Got, tough? He Detroit about, tough? He talked about he will put a straight blade to me if I um, no. call any goons. Well, I know you went and got him. Message. Huh? I know you went and got him. <laughs> as tough as you are, Detroit, the way we but, get out. But here go the thing. <laughs> but here go the thing. I ain't Judgment never... for the plaintiff. Let me give you your $1,265. She took possession of it. You completed your end of the transaction. Yes, sir. She's definitely too tough to want a thousand dollars for harassment. She's Detroit tough. She will do well, this bad to, to you. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. <laughs> don't run. Don't run. Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> don't run. <laughs> <laughs> Just before the play. Thank you. Took me to court, you won. Good job.